creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what am I bringing to you today? Today I am bringing to you a five minute DIY. This is such a quick and easy DIY. I get so many requests in the comments section of my videos. More quick and easy DIYs. You all really seem to love them. I thought it would be fun just to bring you some of these five minute DIY ideas and make them short, quick videos that are inexpensive, budget friendly, and the outcome is amazing. And so that's what I'm bringing to you today, a five minute, quick and easy, budget friendly DIY. And wait for it, it is not in the farmhouse decor style. So you're gonna have to see what decor style I went with for this DIY. Let's jump into it. Alrighty, let's set this timer to five minutes. I picked up this eight by 10 silver frame from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna remove everything from it because I need the paper insert because I'll be using it as a template. I'll be using this black scrapbooking paper that I had in my stash already. Hobby Lobby has an everyday low price on their open stock scrapbooking paper, five for a dollar, which is 20 cents a sheet. Right now, Joann's has their scrapbooking paper on sale, 10 for $2, which is an equally great buy. What's great about this DIY is you can easily make it to suit your decor by picking out a scrapbooking paper that you like that's gonna fit your decor. I placed this insert right over the top of my scrapbooking paper so I could easily cut it to size. For the time being, I'm gonna take the glass out of the frame and I'm gonna set it aside. I'm not gonna throw it away because we're gonna replace it later. I'm gonna place the scrapbooking paper and the backing to the frame back into the frame because it makes it a lot easier when I'm doing the next step. I'll be using these stickers that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I believe these are a two and a half to three inch sticker. I picked up this pack when they were 40% off. I believe I paid either $2 or $2.50 for them, which is a great buy because it's not only gonna work for one DIY, but it'll work for several. And I'm gonna use the letters to spell out the word love and kind of that box form. If you've got a Cricut, you're a step ahead. You don't need to buy the stickers. You can easily cut out your letters. Stickers are just a great alternative for those who don't have a Cricut because you can get these stickers very budget friendly. They come in a multi-pack and like I said before, it's great for more than just one DIY. Once I've got my letters placed and centered in the frame, I'm gonna take out my insert, I'm gonna replace the glass, and honestly, we are done with this DIY. I didn't show it, but this DIY took me four minutes and 23 seconds. I don't know what happened to the footage of it, but it was less than a five minute DIY and cost under $5 to make. And there you have it. It was quick, it was easy, and it doesn't get much more budget friendly than this. And the outcome is gorgeous. What's really great about a DIY like this is not only is it budget friendly, but it's something that you could easily make a set of. You could do four of them and use it as a focal point on a wall and do each one different, have different words in each one. And how much did it really cost you? It's gonna cost you under $10 to do this. And to have a nice piece that's a focal point on a wall is really something that enhances a room and really draws your eye to that part of the room. And so something like this is definitely something that you can do easily and on a budget. I hope you all enjoyed today's five minute quick and easy budget friendly DIY. If you want more of these, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment in the comments below because again, like always, I go off of your feedback. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes like I always say because those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day, happy crafting on a budget and bye for now everybody.